Mm-hmm. Simba Smith reports at my office immediately. What? Oh, now what? Oh, my, what did I do this time? <sighs> hey, Principal Hana, what did I do this time? What? What are you talking about? Did I get in trouble? What? No? Did you think I'd call you down here just because you got in trouble? Uh, no, because if I did, I wouldn't have called you down here. You're one of our good top students. Oh, well, in that case, then what's the problem? Well, I just want to say congratulations on your high test score and say that you're now the king of our school. Wait, wait, the king of our school? Like, the whole school? Yeah, the whole school. Wow, that's amazing. But I didn't know you could be king for it. Well, there is a queen to it, but now, but it's you. You're the king now. All right. Mm-mm-mm. So, do I get a crown? Of course you get a crown, buddy. Hold on, let me go get it right now. All right, Simba, I got your crown. Wow, that's a good crown. Wait, why say the number five on it? Because you're one of our top five students. Oh, that makes sense. All right, all right, let me put this on you and... Wow, you look good. You look like the Burger King with that crown on. Really? Is it because the crown's big? Yeah, technically so. So anyway, yeah, you're our new king. Okay, so, like, where do I go? Anywhere. Hmm, I think I know the perfect spot. Thanks again, Principal Hana. Here I stand as the new king of our school. Hey, did we just hear that right? You're the new king of our school? That's right. You must bow when you speak to me. Oh, my bad. So what do you guys want? Well, Simba, as your sister and friends, we decided we can be your royal followers. Oh, huh. well, I do need some royal followers anyway. So let's see, you can give me a caprice. Right away, sir. What can we do for you? Hmm, I want you to give me all the hats in the world. All the hats in the world? I'm not sure that's legal. Hmm, who says it's not legal? I suggest you just go. Uh, all right, come on, Lux. All right, sir, here's a Capri Sun. All right, thank you. Whoops, my crown, I'll pick it up later. All right, wait, what the? Stupid pig, it's not even cold. What? Yes, it is. And why'd you just call me? You stupid pig, because you are a stupid pig. Now go take this somewhere else. Ow. Hey, <sighs> right away, sir. Hey, wait a minute, where Leon Lux? They want to go give me all the hats in the world. What? All the hats in the world? That's not legal. I don't care what's legal. They do what they're told, and you're doing what you're told too. So give me a cooler Capri Sun, and fruit punch flavor too. Uh, okay then. <sighs> Here you go, sir. Here's an even colder Capri Sun. Thank you. Ah, that's too cold. Bruh, I gave you a regular Capri Sun that was cold, but you ain't want it. Now it's an even colder Capri Sun and you still don't want it? What's wrong with you? It's too cold, that's the problem. I need it not too cold and not too hot. Just right, Nala. Just right. Get it right. Simba, it's just a Capri Sun. Just deal with it. I don't care what it is. Just give me a cold Capri Sun. Okay, fine. <sighs> hey, where's Leon Lux at with my millions of hats? Let me pick up my crown. Alright, sir, back with your hats. What? Hats? That's only two hats. Well, yeah, hats, but they're your favorite colors, watermelon, red, and blue. <sighs> Why couldn't you bring me all the hats? Well, we tried, sir, but they keep saying, no, you can't take all the hats. And I'm like, why not? And they say, because we said so. You can only bring two hats because there's two of you and there's lots of those hats. That doesn't make any sense. It's exactly what we said. I mean, just because there's like two of us, that doesn't mean we could take all the hats. But your it was your request, so I guess that's kind of a reason why. <sighs> I mean, let me take a look at these two hats. Hmm, not too bad. Uh, all right, I'll give you a pass. Now bring me Span. What, Span? Yeah, I need you to bring me Span. You mean from Frozen, from Kristoff? Mm-hmm. Why you want him, sir? Just because I just want, I just want him. Just go get him for me. Uh, okay. Just so you know, sir, that's gonna be kind of tricky. So let's go. All right, sir, I got you a Capri Sun juice. But... Hey, did you just drop my Capri Sun? No, sir. Anyway, I got your Capri Sun, and please let it be right this time. <sighs> I don't know why my crown keeps falling. It doesn't barely fit my head. I don't know what Prince Mohana was thinking. Let's see. Okay, it's just right. So can I at least take a break now? Uh, no, I want more food. Let's see, I want some chicken tenders from Wingstop. And I want a pizza from Home Run In. What? All of that? Yeah, go give it to me. Why? Because I'm the king. You listen to your king, Nala. <sighs> Fine, sir. Thank you. 
Where are my chicken tenders and pizza? Right here, sir. Wait, why is there only two of them? And why is there only one big pizza? Well, I went to this place called St. Calabanus, and the food there cost a lot of money, I mean, a lot of money. I only had like about $7, so I, it was lucky that I had to use all this. So, the pizza cost $5. What, dang. And then, these two chicken tenders, each each of them cost $1. So, one for this one, and one for this one makes two. So, I had to spend $7, so now I'm broke. Oh, well, that sounds like a you problem. <sighs> Just to enjoy your chicken tenders and pizza. All right. Let's see. <laughs> ah, huh, the chicken tenders are cold. Let me see. <laughs> and so is that pizza. Oh my gosh, now you just don't know how to get stuff right. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I had to travel 50 minutes to that place. And I had to travel 50 minutes all the way back here. So that's probably why I got cold. Plus, you did you even know it's 19 degrees out there? I don't want to hear your excuses. The only thing you got right is my Capri song. Where's Leon Lux? Oh, they went to go get me Spen. Wait, Spen? Yeah, you know, from Frozen. Wait, what? How are you man gonna do that? I don't know, but they'll find a way. They always do. All right, King Simba, we got you spent. What, you actually got me spent? How'd you do manage to do that? Do you want the short or the long version? I'm gonna like the really long version, please. <sighs> okay, then we'll sit back, cause it's gonna be a long story. It wasn't really easy, though. We just had to go all the way to Kingdom of Arendelle, and then all of a sudden, we saw Kristoff and Spent. Just enjoying each other's company. And then while Kristoff was in the bathroom, we had stole spent. How did you manage to do that? Well, and we had to give him a carrot. Because, you know, he likes carrots. Then, we were on our way back. But then Kristoff caught us. And then he was chasing us. We were running and running and running. So it's been like 30 minutes, right? And we were getting tired. So it was clear what we had to do. We had to beat him up. Yeah, we had to beat him up super duper good. And once we beat out Kristoff, we took Spent. We said, giddy up, boy. And Spent ran all the way to our school. And that's the full story of how he got Spent. That story was kind of crazy. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hard to believe, ain't it? But it was sick. This is cool. I have a live reindeer. A reindeer. Hey, Spent. Giddy up, boy. Well, at least the king is happy. Hey guys, do you think Simba's a great king or what? Uh, I say no. Yeah, he's pretty greedy and selfish. Of course. He asked me to give me a Capri Sun, which is not too cold and not too warm. And you know what I did? It's the same old Capri Sun. It's right there. And it was cold the whole time. But he would say, uh-uh, it was too warm. It was too cold. What? What's up, king he is? And uh, yeah, he asked us to get all the hats in the world, but we did. Those hats are over there. I mean, come on, Simba. We can't get all the hats in the world. How you how do you expect someone to get all the hats in the whole entire world? We can only get two because the manager says so. What the manager say? Well he says we can't afford you can you guys can't get all the hats, so yeah, I mean <sighs> it's just a lot going on. Yeah, I feel you. And then he made me have to get some Wingstop chicken tenders and a home run in pizza, which cost me $7. Well, $7? Well, $7 for the pizza, not the chicken tenders. Oh, okay, I was about to say. For the chicken tenders? That's mm mm mm. No, the chicken tenders only cost $1, but I only could afford two because the pizza cost $5. So, yeah, we get it. Two, four, six, seven. That's not the correct way to count, but okay. <sighs> I just need a break from him. Yeah, me too. Me three. Yeah! Thank you guys for bringing me spent. I just want to say thanks again. Mm-hmm. Anytime, buddy. So, is there anything else you want us to do? Hmm, let me think. Hmm. Actually, yes. I want you guys to buy me some marshmallows. Uh, I don't think we can afford that. Well, why not? Well, you see, I spend all my money on your pizza and chicken tenders. So, yeah, I told you I was broke already. Oh, yeah. Well, what about you two? Well, we spent all of our money on hats. What? How much did those hats cost? $25 for each one. So, it's 50 in total. though. And we each had 25 So, yeah, we're basically broke, too. Well, then just steal them. But if we do that, then we'll be able... We'll be... We'll, we'll go to jail. Uh, yeah. I, a survey says, I don't care. I want the marshmallows, please. So, give me my marshmallows. Fine, let's go, guys. <sighs> Thanks, guys. You're real ones. All right, Spent, get it up. All right, King Simba, we got you your marshmallows. All right, wait, wait. Why is the bag open? 
Oh, uh, I ate some marshmallows, if you don't mind. Uh, I don't mind. Anyway, so... Here are your marshmallows. Yeah. That was randomly odd of you. There they are, officers. Them, them crazy lunatics that stole my marshmallows. You monsters. What's the problem? It is illegal to steal marshmallows. Look, I know we stole the marshmallows, but ask him. What? Him? Yeah, me. I'm the king. What? Says who? Sense our principal. What? Kid, I, I don't know if you know this, but you cannot be a king of this school. Well, our principal says I'm the king of this school. What? You know what? Wait, hold up. Is that sped? Yeah. What's the problem? You're not allowed to steal sped. Yeah, that's illegal. What? Says who? Says Kristoff, because Kristoff does not like to share sped at all. He must be pretty pissed that you have him now. Well, I heard that Kristoff has gotten beat up by these two. What? You snitching? Uh, what? You, the, you know what? All four of you guys are going to court. Whip Span to it, because I'm really sure that Kristoff is now really pissed that you beat him up and stole his pet deer. Let's go. Oh my gosh, really? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's kind of cold in here, but just deal with it. <clears throat> and today we'll be hearing a case of why Simba and his friends stole Spin from Frozen and a bag of marshmallows. So, Simba and friends, what was your reason of doing this? Uh, well, Your Honor, I'm the king of the school, and as king, I told them my royal followers to bring me Spin and a bag of marshmallows now you see the reason why we stole well they stole the bag of marshmallows is because they didn't have any money so yeah and i want to spend to be as my pet deer so yeah i mean i can understand with the marshmallow thing but still with stealing spend away from Kristoff, that is illegal because it's legally his pet so I command you to give Kristoff his pet reindeer back, or deer for whatever matter. Anyway, yeah, d take him back. And as for the marshmallow thing, as your king, he did order you guys to get some marshmallows, so I guess I can let that slide. So, yeah, you are no longer king because I heard from your followers that you're a greedy, selfish little brat who only cares about himself. So, I guess that's everything. Can't refresh my memory because I'm kind of old here. So, yeah, you are no longer a kink, and I command you to bring Spam back to Kristoff. Go! <sighs> so, how'd it go? Well, I returned Spam to Kristoff, and he beat me up. As you kind of deserve it. What, really? Why? Well, like the judge said, you were a really big spoiled brat who only cares about himself. And as a king, that's what made you like that. But if you're not a king, you're actually a really nice person, Simba. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'm not really fit for a king. Plus, I am already a king in The Lion King. But they're going to make in the live action movie of Mufasa. And I'm telling you, it's going to be horrible. Just horrible. Ugh.